And the chef. <laughs> and the chef. Can't forget the chef. No, can't forget the chef. Anyway, um, we're going to make something tonight. This is the sweet tooth item that I've been talking about that I've been trying to make and then get distracted and trying to make and get distracted. And well, let's just say I've had this recipe for a few months. Um, our friend, Krabby Crafter, um, Claudia, she gave me this recipe back when I was still making uh, Christmas cookies and things, if I'm not mistaken. It's been quite some time. And I told her because it's one of their favorites. And I said, yeah, that sounds really good. I'll give it a try. And all intentions were good to make it. And she'd asked me a couple of times, hey, have you made that, that recipe yet? And I'm like, no, I'm going to get around to it. But as we talked before, I don't have a round to it. Tonight, I've got a round, <laughs> tonight I've got a round to it. You've got a square to it. Don't let her lie to you. <laughs> I don't know if you heard Chef or not, but he says I have a square to it also. If I do, I don't know where it's at, except for in my head. It's one of those things where you sit all day. I'm one of those people that would sit all day and, and try to pound, pound uh, square pegs in round holes. That's, that's me, especially lately. That's me. Anyway, like I said, this is supposed to be one of her family favorites. So, Claudia, again, thank you, a.k.a. Krabby Crafter. Thank you so much for this recipe. Now, just looking at this, and I've looked at the recipe several times, and it's very simple. It reminds me of a candy that we used to have all the time as teenagers. It's a, it's a retro candy, and I don't know how many of you have ever had it or not. Um, it was by a candy company. I think it was Boyer's Candy Company, B-O-Y-E-R, Boyer's Candy Company. Um, they're the ones that made the mallow cups, and if you got any of you remember, they also made some that were called smoothie. They were smoothie cups, and what they were was a, a peanut butter filled butterscotch cup, and they were, I remember me and my, my best friend growing up, we'd always stop on the way home um, after we'd been out to like a sock hop or something like that, or just even out cruising the bash. We'd stop and she'd get the mallow cups that were her favorite and I'd always get the smoothie. Well, the ingredients in this reminds me so much of a smoothie and I'll put a picture in right here. But it just reminds me of that. So I know it's gonna be good. It's kind of, minus the fact that it doesn't have chocolate in it, it would be kind of like a combination between a smoothie and a mallow cup. Anyway, I've got just a small pot right here and this is going to be very simple, so I hope you guys will give it a try too, along with me. As soon as I can get the lid out, that is. Durr. I have a 9 by 13 pan sitting over here, my Temptations. I always use my Temptations because you don't have to spray them or anything. You can make the most cheesiest baked on lasagna in those pans, and it's not going to snick. snick. Listen to me. They're not going to stick. Just very easy to clean. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put my first three ingredients. I have a stick of butter. Um, it doesn't say whether to use salted or unsalted. Normally I use unsalted for everything. So that's what I have right here. Um, because we've got the peanut butter, which peanut butter has quite a bit of salt in it. So I'm going to put a stick of butter in here into my pan. Four ingredients. I mean, you can't beat that. Four ingredients to have something that comes out that tastes amazing. And I've never tried them, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty, pretty good. So I've got some just great value peanut butter. Not sponsored, but you know, we love, I used to use Jif all the time. I thought there was no better peanut butter than Jif. That's all I would ever use. But I like the great value peanut butter. I don't really see much difference between the two. And I remember years ago when we were shopping, we went to, I can't remember, it's Save a Lot now, but I think back in the day it was called Stack and Save or something. It 
but they sold off brands of Mountain Dew same as they do now off brands of Mountain Dew off brands of Dr. Pepper off brands of Pepsi and Coca-Cola well we had bought a 12 pack of Mountain Holler. It was called Mountain Holler. It was supposed to be the off brand of Mountain Dew. And we'd also bought a 12 pack of Dr. Pop, which was the off brand of Dr. Pepper. When we got home, when we got home and we opened up these to put them in the refrigerator, there was six cans of Mountain Holler, six cans of Mountain Dew. In the Dr. Pop one, there was six cans of Dr. Pop, six cans of Dr. Pepper. So from that point on, I was a firm believer that a lot of this stuff that we get that is off-brand is actually coming from the main company itself. That's, now that's just our experience that happened years ago, and that's what I believe. But anyway, in goes one cup of peanut butter. And I've said many times when we talk about chocolate and caramel and peanut butter and stuff, I said... I would pick peanut butter and caramel over chocolate. I, I like milk chocolate, but if I had to pick which, I would pick um, peanut butter and caramel before I would pick chocolate. That's just, that's just me. All right, so we've got our stick of butter in here now. We've got our one cup of peanut butter. What? What? Bring me some chocolate. Yeah, you're, you like chocolate no, more. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm imitating somebody. Well, yeah. Well, all of you ladies know that there comes a certain time when, yeah, you crave chocolate. Send me some chocolate. But I haven't said that for a long time. <clears throat> Unless I have a mega, mega sweet tooth, and it's easier for me just to tell you to grab me something chocolate than to tell you to grab me something caramel because <clears throat> even most of the things you find in the store... <clears throat> Most of the things you find in the store are chocolate covered caramel. Okay. Chef's trying to get on my nerves. We have an 11 ounce bag of, again, great value butterscotch chips. So I'm going to dump these in here. And what I'm going to do is Claudia said to melt these first. So we're going to melt these down. We're going to get these to a smooth consistency. And then once they get to that smooth consistency, we're going to take them off the burner. We're going to stir it frequently, but we want to let it cool down. She said to make sure that it cools down enough to where when you put the marshmallows in, it's not going to melt all of your marshmallows. So we're going to get this on the burner and we're going to start melting it down. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we're at the stove now and I'm going to turn it on. About medium. I usually start everything cooking out on medium and I'm just gonna cut my butter into pieces with my little spatula here so it'll melt down a little faster I know it smells good these smells just it just reminds me of that candy that I love so much but I'm gonna let it you want to I, I mean just from cooking I know and not just this recipe we want to stir 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 we don't want any of this stuff getting stuck on the bottom yes pood everybody hears you everybody hears pood I'm anxious to try this chef's not big on butterscotch butterscotch is not one of his favorite flavors he will eat some butterscotch stuff. Um, when I bought the smoothie cups at Rural King um, not long ago, because I hadn't seen smoothie cups in a very long time. But Rural King had a section where they had some retro candies. When I saw those, I was like flipping out. So we bought some smoothie cups and we bought some, did we, we didn't buy the mallow cups, did we? We bought the other ones that were like mallow cups. Yeah. We found some others that were like the Mallow Cups, but they did have the Mallow Cups. And how many of you remember the Wacky Wafers? We didn't buy any, but they did have the Wacky Wafers. The banana ones were always my favorite. But this is melting down very nicely. And it smells so, so, so super good. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner down a little bit because I don't want it to scorch. So I'm going to put it on medium low and I'm just going to keep stirring it until everything gets melted and combined. So just waiting on the butter to finish getting melted. And then when it does, we'll be done with this part. Okay. All right, everybody. We have this melted down now and it's a smooth consistency. If you guys can see that, very smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the burner off. And we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'm gonna keep stirring it. We're gonna let it cool down to the point where I feel like it's not going to melt all the marshmallows. Then we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna finish this out. We'll be right back. Okay guys, and we are back. And we've had this off the burner for, I don't know, probably about seven minutes maybe. And, of course, I had to taste it to <laughs> make sure it was cooling down, right? So, I think it's at the consistency where we can go ahead and add our marshmallows. Now, this is a 16-ounce bag, if you guys can see that. A 16-ounce bag of miniature marshmallows. Now, um, Claudia did say that uh, she said to use a 14-ounce bag of miniature marshmallows. And she said you want to put in all but about one cup. So since I have a 16 ounce bag, I think I'm going to go ahead and add in what I would think would be the amount that she's suggesting. So I'm going to leave in probably what I would think would be about three cups of miniature marshmallows. I'm going to add these in first and get them stirring around. She said you want to make sure that all the marshmallows don't get melted. That's why she suggested cooling it down some. So gonna get these all coated and covered I know that the base before I added the marshmallows was tasting really really good and it did remind me of a smoothie so if any of you out there know the candy that I'm talking about and you've ever had a smoothie um, candy in your lifetime then I would highly recommend giving um, giving her recipe a try so I'm going to go ahead and add some more. Like I said, I'm going to leave what I think would be about three cups of miniature marshmallows in the bag. So that's probably about all I'm going to add. Give these a stir and it has cooled down enough where it's not, it's not really melting the marshmallows, which is what we want. I'm pretty sure. Again, first time I've ever made this. I know that we have another thing that we want to make. Um, it was a recipe that was given to me from Darlene McFate. Yeah, we need to make that. Um, which we're going to be making that also um, sometime coming up soon. And we'll share that with you as well. Okay. So I have just what I would think would be about three cups of miniature marshmallows left in the bag. It looks like a lot more than it is, but it's not. So I'm going to bring over my 9 by 13 pan. And I love the Temptations too because they come with lids. So you can just, I didn't spray this or anything because I don't need to. And I'm just going to pour this into here and spread it all out. Kind of reminds me of a, a Rice Krispie treat minus the minus the Rice Krispies, which I guess is something that you might be able to add in here. Um, you'd have to adjust your your ratios, of course. Less marshmallows if you're going to add some Rice Krispie treats in or some Rice Krispies in. But I think that would be a good addition into this too. Have you ever tried that Krabby? Let me know in the comment section how I'm doing here. And uh, if you've ever added anything into that like Rice Krispies or anything like that. Corn flakes. And we'll spread the rest of that out. All right, I think that looks good. That looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick this, if you guys can see this, it looks really, really yummy. 
you guys can see this, we're going to take it, I'm going to put my lid on it, and we're going to stick it in the refrigerator, and we're going to leave it in the refrigerator until it sets up enough to where I can cut it into squares, and we're going to give it a taste. So when we get to that point in this video, then we'll see you guys then. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we took this out, this peanut butter delight, and I'm hoping that this is what it's supposed to look like, but Krabby will let me know. And if you can see this, so I'm just going to cut me a piece of this right here. I'm going to taste it because, like I said, Chef's not... He will taste it, I'm sure. Um, you know, he's not big on... He's not big on peanut butter butterscotch. Well, he's not big on butterscotch stuff. So this is what a piece of this looks like, and I'm going to taste it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Now I understand why she says this is one of their favorites. Oh, uh, mm -mm -mm. sorry guys, I don't mean to talk with my mouth full. Mm -mm -mm. That is some delicious stuff right there. Crabby, Crabby Crafter, and Claudia, thank you so much for sharing this recipe with us and allowing us to share it with everyone else.